Man, you were very hot ticket this offseason, right? Did, did you imagine that your free agency was going to turn out like that, number one? And number two, why ultimately the Mets? Well, uh, you know, we weren't quite sure how free agency was going to work out. Uh, you, you never really are. It is a little bit of a, it's a fun uh, thing to go through, but it's a scary thing to go through at the same time. Um, and so um, when we were going through the whole process, you know, ideally I think how it ended up is what, how we would have written it. Um, you know, if you would have told me when we started the free agency process that this is how it would have ended up. Eight years, one sixty-two. Yeah, I, think I would have be. said that. That sounds great. You know, let's let's do that. <laughs> um, and so, uh, ultimately, yes, I ended up exactly where I wanted to end up. Um, I think that the Mets saw in me, you know, what I saw in them. We know each other, um, and we're very comfortable with each other and how we operate. Um, and, and so. I think uh, both sides liked what each, each other brought to the table, and so we, we made a deal, and it happened rather quickly once, once we all got on the table. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's one of those things where you made it evident how you felt openly, and it was clear that you're being genuine, which is something that I've watched from the, the moment we met in 2015, yeah. the, your genuine, hard-on-your-sleeve kind of guy. To do that and, and sacrifice what people would call leverage yeah. to show your heart, I think that also endeared you to not only the Mets fans, yeah. but the Mets front office and, and people involved. So that yeah. decision is, is mutual. Like, like you said, Jerry, I mean, I, I, I don't have much to hide. And so I, <laughs> I kind of, like, like you said, wear my heart on my sleeve. And, um, you know, I, I made it very clear that, you know, if, if, if the Mets would uh, be willing to have me back, I would love to be back here. Um, and so the feeling was mutual, and we were able to, once I said, like we got to the table, it happened in a matter of about four hours. Um, but, uh, you know, we were really, really glad. And then the next day I was like, I just get to go 15 minutes across the, across the way and go work out at the stadium, and it's just business as usual again. So very comfortable on both ends and very happy to be back. As we were talking about doing this interview, we were discussing that catch you made last year against the Dodgers. Yeah. It was, was it the best catch you've ever made yeah, in a big league game? So. Yeah, it's it just the situation, everything that uh, entailed, that, 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 that game entailed, um, I think the whole moment, it, it made that the best catch that I've ever made in my life. Well, what's, what's made you a better center fielder? A lot of work, a lot of work. We've we put in a lot of work in the off season, getting faster, uh, first step quickness. Uh, we even changed up my workout routine to put conditioning first and then put the uh, weights afterwards, and that helped me gain that foot per se foot per second um, on my sprint speed in, from 2020 to 21. Um, so there's been a lot of work and and putting you know in with the outfield coaches and Kirby, uh, hitting balls over the head, just continuing to try and improve on all the little things so that my instincts take over while I'm out there and I'm able to make the plays. So speed has always been kind of an asset that you've had, that you've yeah. been able to deploy. You talked about adding some speed for the outfield. Yeah. Now with some of the rule changes, we talked about the, the bases mm -hmm. getting enlarged. Yes. Is stealing bases something that you have, you've dabbled with yeah. in the past? Is yeah. it something you're thinking about? Uh, going into this year? It's de definitely an area of improvement that I've highlighted. Let's see how this plays out this spring training. Let's see how the bigger bases, how this how this works. And it's some, something that I think I can take advantage of, but only uh, when it makes sense. So there's going to be areas where um, Pete and, and Francisco are swinging the bat really well. <laughs> and, you know, it's a 50-50 shot on if I get there or not um, because we all have to take the risk management into account when we're at first base. Um, and if they're feeling really good, I might just let them swing the bat, you know, and they're, they're, I've got those big boppers behind me. So the most important thing for me is to continue being me and get on base for those guys. Yep. Uh, I can score from first base uh, when they hit the ball in the gap, which they do that a lot. Um, but then when the opportunities present themselves, let's take advantage of it. But we've had some really good catchers in the NL East, and we, we still do now. Um, and, and so they do help shut down the running game some. But if they start to get lazy, if the pitcher gets lazy, we will take advantage of those situations. But we don't want to just be throwing away outs on the base paths either because we have a really great offense. Let's finish on this. Uh, the new rules, mm -hmm. right? How's it going to affect you in the box? Well, you just got to be working quicker. Um, and so, you know, it's just... Uh, I've already seen it deployed a little bit where the pitchers are going to start to play with it where they're ready at eight seconds and they wait till one second to pitch the, uh, the ball. And so it's going to start to be a cat and mouse game. I mean, it's going to continue to be a cat and mouse game. MLB pitching and hitting has always been that cat and mouse, but uh, it's really going to come down to new strategy and uh, you being comfortable in the box being in there early.
It is the center fielder of the New York Mets. That sounds nice, right? You're going to be around yes. with well, that new contract yes, for a long time. For a long time. It's it a is, great feeling. It is Brandon Nimmo. Good to see you, Brandon. Thank you. Have Thanks a great season. Thank Thanks. you.